everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for being here. Um, I got a lot of requests on this one because I just got my hair cut into like a wolf cut or a shag or even a mullet. A few people just asked me how I style my bangs and how I style my hair in general. So I wanted to make a video on that because I style it in a few different ways. So I'm gonna show you each way that I do. But anyway, let's get into the video. So my hair is showered and ready to go. I'm just going to show you guys how I give myself a blowout first. Before you blow dry your hair, you're gonna to want to use a detangler or a heat protectant spray. I use, this one I just found at CVS one day randomly, so I don't know if I necessarily recommend this one, but this is what I use. It is Hask brand Monoi Coconut Oil. It's a five in one leave-in spray. So I just spray it. I'll let it soak in and then I'm just going to take my wet hair brush and brush through it. Next, you're gonna need a blow dryer. Mine is Hot Tools brand. Pretty hot, if I do say so myself. You're gonna need a round brush. I prefer a smaller barreled round brush. So my bangs are a little bit too long right now for it to be just like above my eyes. Typically, if my bangs were shorter, I would just curl the brush underneath my bangs like this and put the blow dryer on top and just ch -ch -ch -ch. I'm just gonna give myself a middle part, curl them outwards. So. I kinda just want volume at the crown and I want these bangs to be face framing and these just to be doing their own thing. They can just figure it out on their own, I guess. I also kind of want it to be a little bit wavy. So during this process, I'm going to curl the hair with the round brush going outwards and then slowly wrap it down. You don't want your bangs like flat to your head like how it looks right now i would just go underneath here and do this little motion and it'll really bump it up So then at the crown of my head, I'm going to take the hair forward and then twirl the brush back and lift up so it gets that volume and it'll just flow back. So after the top layer or top portion is complete, I'm gonna go in and try to hit these lower hairs and I'm going to make them go outwards and inwards. So just depends on what you like. <laughs> Okay, and this is the first final look. It only took a few minutes, so it's really nice if you already have straight hair. <laughs> but this is what it looks like. All right, so while my hair is straight or blown out like this, I'm also going to show you a few different hairstyles. I didn't realize this was like this. I'm going to show you a few different hairstyles that I like to do that are super easy that will make your wolf cut look super cute. So I know these are trending right now, jaw clips. Everybody seems to have one. It's super simple. I go underneath my hair, take it like I'm going to put it in a bun. Then I twist it. 
and I just put the claw clip in. Then I'll kind of pull out the hairs, make it a little bit more messy. I think it's super cute with bangs because it's just like loosey goosey. And I feel like a 90s mom. <laughs> the next hairstyle, if you're just feeling a little bit too edgy and you don't want to look like you have a mullet right now, <laughs> this one is perfect. Take the upper layer that's shorter than the rest and pull it up and give myself a little half up, half down bun. And I pull my bangs out a little bit. And that's it. Um, the final one is obviously just putting it up in a bun. I felt like Tinkerbell. But I just put it in a bun. If my bangs were cooperating, it would be super cute. And then I would pull out these longer pieces too. But right now it kind of just looks like a mushroom. If your hair is really fine like mine and kind of slippery, greasy or dirty after like one day, if I use this, it is Techni Art Super Dust. It's just this like powder that you put in your hair or big sexy hair powder play. But Alex uses this one, I use this one. It's pretty much the same thing, just a different brand. I squeeze it around my head. It's basically just like a volumizer and it adds texture to your hair. It makes it feel like maybe thicker second day hair and it just gives it a little bit more grit. You know, some days I put in a bun and it just doesn't feel right, and then I add some of that and it feels great. <laughs> so the other way that I dry my hair after a shower is a little bit less high maintenance, I guess, a little bit less work, even though the first one wasn't really a lot of work. This is just how I style it, so it's like less heat, less damage, and it's just quicker. When your boyfriend steals your thing, he's never even used this, unless I put this over there in which case, oops. So next I'm just gonna wet my hair as if I just showered. So typically for this hairstyle, I would usually go in with my leave-in conditioner and I would just put it in through my ends, scrunch it up a little bit, but I already used the detangling spray, so I'm just gonna skip that step. I'm gonna try to separate this hair so it's not stuck together at all. And I'm gonna go in with my hair gel. This is Mop Top Curly Hair Custard, but I take about this much, take about a quarter, size and I'm just going to scrunch my hair up. Doesn't really matter what way you do it as long as it's nice and scrunched. My hair's already drying. That's why this is so easy. Right after this you could even let it air dry but I'm going to use the diffuser. And if you want your bangs to lay flat you obviously have to comb them down and then scrunch them like this. So you can leave it like this to dry. I'm going to use my diffuser. I'm gonna do high heat and low speed. So overall, this one just feels more punk rock as fuck. After I diffuse it, it's a little crunchy from the gel, so I'm just going to scrunch out the crunch and then it's gonna look normal. <laughs> but I just scrunch it with my hands and separate the gel until it's no longer crunchy. But yeah, this definitely feels like more volume, more like 80s, and it's just a different vibe. So this is giving more of a mullet look than the blowout was, but I love this hairstyle. It is so like versatile. You can do anything you want with it and it ends up looking good somehow. <laughs> you can do the same hairstyles with this as you do with the straight hair. So obviously you can do the claw clip, grunchy. You can do whatever you want with it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that answered some of your questions or gave you some clarity or even inspired you to get a wolf cut yourself because it's awesome and I love it. I hope you enjoyed. I hope that tutorial made sense to you. I hope it's useful for you. Give it a like, comment, subscribe. See you next time. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching.